We're going to step you through the ACE algorithm and a worked example of a match scenario. This is to give you the best understanding of how it works. The ACE algorithm follows three main priorities in this order. It first wants to match applicants to their highest preference DHB. It then takes the DHB rankings of these applicants into consideration while ensuring each applicant is only matched to one DHB. What ACE ends up with is the number of positions available at each DHB, a list of DHB's applicants who want to work at it, and a list of applicants the DHB want to employ. ACE then uses this information and the algorithm priorities to match the applicants. The algorithm works one DHB at a time. It starts at the top of the list of ranked names, asking how many positions each DHB have. In the first sweep, it runs from top to bottom, matching applicants to that DHB, provided that they preferenced it first and the DHB has positions to fill. When an applicant is matched, they are removed from any other DHB ranked list to ensure that they are only matched to one DHB. The algorithm will then move on to the next DHB and match applicants to that DHB, provided they ranked it first and the DHD still has positions available. If there are positions available following the first sweep of all the DHBs, it will then perform a second sweep, matching applicants to their second preference if that DHB has vacancies. The algorithm will continue until all of the positions have been filled or the applicant preferences have been exhausted and no other applicant can be matched. I have three DHB rankings and nine applicants for us to have a look at. If we look at the Auckland example, we can see that Auckland has three positions available and the applicants are shown in the order the DHB has ranked them. On the right are the applicants first preference. Remember the first priority is to match applicants to their first preference. The algorithm would look at Orlando's ranking and red flag him, but not match him in this sweep. Orlando is red flagged so that he can be considered in subsequent sweeps should Auckland still have positions available. We can see that Johnny has preferenced Auckland and therefore he is matched. Kira is matched to Auckland because she has preferenced Auckland first. And Jeffrey is also matched to Auckland as he has preferenced Auckland first and Auckland still has positions. Auckland has now filled all of their positions, so the algorithm will move on to the next DHB. If Auckland had positions available after we matched Jeffrey, then the algorithm would continue. If we had five positions, it would match Zoe and Lee, as they preferenced Auckland first, and then the algorithm would move on to the next DHB. Auckland would then be included in the second sweep to fill its remaining positions, with applicants who preference them second. Also, it is important to remember that it wouldn't matter which DHB the algorithm starts with, the outcome will not be impacted. So let's look at Dunedin's lit. We can see that Dunedin have two positions and have ranked seven applicants. You'll see here that Kira and Johnny's name have been crossed out because they have been matched to their first preference, DHB. In reality, these exam applicants would simply be removed from the DHB list. Once again, the algorithm will look at Dunedin's ranked applicants from top to bottom and will match applicants who have ranked them first in the sweep. Zoe and Lee have not ranked Dunedin first, so the algorithm will flag them and keep them on the list for the next sweep. Kira has already been matched, so the algorithm will skip her and move to Jonathan. Jonathan has ranked Dunedin first, so he will be matched to Dunedin. Orlando has also ranked Dunedin first, so he is matched here also. Dunedin has now filled all of their positions, so the algorithm moves on to the next DHB. So now we have counties ranking. The algorithm will start with Zoe again. However, as she has not ranked counties first, she's not matched, but is flagged for the second sweep. The next three applicants are skipped, as in reality, they do not show on the DHB's list, as they have already been matched. Jack has ranked counties first, so he is matched first. But Lee is not ranked counties first, so he is not matched. At the end of this sweep, counties will have one position available, 
but all of the other DHBs have filled their positions. That means that their applicants go through a second sweep where applicants' second preferences are considered. The second sweep goes back to the top of the ranked applicant list. Zoe has ranked County second, which means that she is matched to them in the second sweep. Counties have now filled their positions, and so the match is now complete. To clarify, there are three people crossed out as they have been matched to their first preference DHB. In this example, it looks like counties may have been disadvantaged, but in this sweep we're only looking at applicants who preference the DHB first. The algorithm can run any DHB first and at no disadvantage to any other DHB. Lee wasn't matched in any of the DHB runs, so let's see why that is. You'll remember that Auckland was his first preference, so let's have a look at how they ranked. Auckland were matched to Johnny, Kira and Geoffrey as they all preferenced Auckland first. And they were ranked more highly than Lee. Auckland has filled all of their positions so Lee is not matched. Lee ranked Dunedin second. While he was ranked highly by Dunedin, they filled their positions with applicants who preferenced them first before the algorithm needed to look at applicants who preferenced them second. Lee is not matched here either. Finally, counties was Lee's third preference. Jack was matched in the first sweep and Zoe in the second, so therefore they would have filled their positions before the third sweep where Lee would have been considered for a position. Therefore, Lee isn't matched or offered in any of our example intake. Damien was also unsuccessful in our example match here. Damien ranked counties first, however counties did not rank Damien here, so there is no way he could be matched to this DHB. Dunedin, Damien's second preference, fill all of their positions with applicants who preference Dunedin first, and therefore Damien is not matched here either. Auckland, Damien's third preference, also filled all of their positions in the first sweep with applicants who preference them first. This means Damien is unsuccessful in the example match.